Hello YouTube world, Todd from Great Escape Farms here. I'm getting ready to do a repair on a crack on my 1550 gallon water system here. First I want to point out, if you notice, the very top part here is bent back. I believe that I can fix that by removing the lid and shoving a 2x4 in it and prying it kind of like this. Actually it would be more like, let me see if I can do it. Come in with this one, come in and pry it up. I think that would fix it. However, I am lacking two by fours here at my residence. I do have some out at the farm, so I'm gonna have to do that later. I'll show you where it's bent in there. A, a crack down, or not a crack, but a bend down lower, a dent down lower, would get pushed out with water. One up that high, I don't know if it would. It might, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to take care of it beforehand. What I am going to do today, though, is to repair the crack. So I've already washed this up uh, I just took some the mild dish soap and some water and cleaned it up. And this one has a crack right here. So the process is, is I'm gonna stick a screwdriver in here and uh, bend it up, try to make it flush. Uh, I got a couple little spots here that are holding it together or preventing it from going flush. So I'm gonna try to make it flush. And then I have an iron, and I'll, I'll show the iron in a minute, or a polyethylene welding kit I think they call it. It's pretty much an iron that's going to go ahead and melt some plastic so I will melt a V in here and then I will fill it up with extra uh, polyethylene because I have a, a couple of pieces to go in so I'll put the, fill the V up with that and kind of smooth it together make it as smooth as I can to make it aesthetically pleasing from the outside. Then I can get in this, so I'll go on the inside, I'll do the same thing, I'll make a V, I'll fill it up, I'll make it as flat as I can, and then I'll come back with uh, some stainless steel screen, and I will go about an inch on each side with the screen, and I'll go ahead and melt that in to reinforce this area so that it's not a weak spot and that will make it as good as new. So that is what I plan to do. This will be the first time I've done this, so hopefully it will work out fine. Done a lot of research on it and I will, uh, you guys can work along with it with me. So let me move on over now and show you the actual welding kit itself. Okay, here I have a polyethylene welding kit and the manufacturer is Rainflow. And it comes with a kit with everything in it. Uh, you can pick various different colors. And somewhere on here, maybe it's on the back. It showed, yeah, there it is. It's on the back, it shows the color. So yeah, it's 120 volt. And this one is the natural color. It also comes in black and green, so you can get it to match your tank. And it also has instructions here on exactly what to do to repair it. So I've already removed the staples. So this sh should come right up. Don't use with one hand. Okay, so we got that off. So what we have are the welding sticks in here. This is extra material. There are 10 of these in here. And pull one of these out. So that's, there's 10 of the ones right here. They, they're two bundles of five. So I'm going to make a V in the plastic and then I'm going to melt this into it. So this is the uh, extra that I melt into it. Here is the stainless steel screen that comes with it. So I will cut one of these to size and put it in. This is the welding unit as they call it. It's just uh, an extremely 200 watt, extremely hot soldering iron. I've done a lot of soldering in my time with a special tip on it. So there's that, and then the kit also comes with a holder that I can set the welder on without burning anything there. So uh, they say it takes at least 10 minutes for this to heat up, so let me go ahead and get this started warming up. I'll go ahead and try to bend this out here. So it's actually a little softer and easier to work with than I figured it would be. Yeah, there's going to be a little dent here, no doubt about that. I don't know how I'm going to be able to fix that, but it's, I think it's even enough. I can go ahead and put a V in here. Okay, the iron is hot enough, so I'm going to go ahead and 
go ahead in here and start working on a V. I'm just going to kind of work my way on down here. I don't want to let it sit in any one spot too long because I don't want to burn the plastic. If I end up burning it, then it's not going to stick good or anything else. i got to keep moving it. Even if I have to move it and come back up a little bit later, I can come back and do that, no problem. Now I'm going to come over and do the other side. See there's smoke there, and that's, that's normal. One of the things I'm going to do is go ahead and clean this off. You can see it's smoking a little, which is normal, but the stuff that's on there is going to burn. And you want a wire brush. I don't have one, so I'm improvising here. And I'm just using a old uh, wire brush wheel for a drill bit that I had, which, is, as you can see, that's kind of shot anyhow. So I'm just uh, making this its final run. So I have a V in here all the way through, and I hope this doesn't mess the video up too much, but I'm actually gonna bring this over and try to show you the V a little bit. So what I did is I went this side and that side and tried to make a good V here. So what I'm gonna do now is take the stick that I showed you before and melt that in here and fill that V up and then try, kind of smooth it across here. So let me... Get that going. And before I start that, I'm going to do one last cleaning on this. Okay, and I have a good and nice clean tip. And what I'm going to do now is just kind of melt some of this in here and work my way on down and again I'm trying not to hold it in one spot too long because I don't want to burn anything or burn the plastic just want to melt it enough to get the plastic in there and get it flowing but not burn it Okay, I'm in the tank here, and I just, as soon as I started talking, I realized there's an echo in here. So I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking, or at least I'm going to talk down a little lower. But you can see right here, that's where it bowed in. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to V it, and I'm going to fill it up, make it level, and then I'll cut some screen. So I'll leave the screen on the top, and then I'll melt it in. So I'll see how much of this I can actually video. Uh, I'm not going to talk as little as possible because of the echo here. So let me go ahead and set this up in the tripod and get going. Okay, so I have a nice V in there. I turned off the excess. Now I'm going to add the extra white stuff in here. Okay, I'm going to try to show this as much as I can. But this is smooth here now. It's cooled off some. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the screen on and then I'm going to take the iron and I'm going to kind of melt the plastic from the bottom all through the screen. I will add some more plastic on top, but I want to make sure that I melt the plastic on the tub into the screen as well. Also, make sure you use stainless steel. You don't want to use regular steel because it will rust and you don't want to use the nylon stuff because it will melt.
see the screen is in here. It is under the plastic. It's still a little bit warm, but I cannot feel the screen anywhere. So it is actually embedded in the plastic here. So that will make it nice and strong for us. So I will finish up with it. One last shot of the outside once I operate this. Okay, I am. I have the tank uprighted. I'm standing at the outside and still a little bit warm, but nice and smooth. I did go ahead and sand the outside a little bit just to get it smooth so there weren't any jagged edges or anything on it because it's near impossible to get this perfectly smooth. But took off all the edges. It is nice and smooth here. I will not have any issues with this thing leaking, I guarantee you that. You can almost see the uh, shadow in the background of the screen there. So this is pretty thick plastic, plus it being on the top side. Now my other tank, I have, and I'll do a separate video on that, I actually have a cut or an outright hole in the bottom part that's missing material. So I'll have to add material. So I'll have to do that one a little bit different than I did this one. But like I said, I'll do a whole different video on that one. So uh, that's it for this one. This is how you repair a crack on the polyethylene plastic. This is the same way you do it for canoes and um, what do you call those things? Kayaks as well. So anything polyethylene is done pretty much the same way. And it, this would be what this will be, or this is watertight. So this is the way you do it. Anyhow, this is Todd with Great Escape Farms. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and also check out our blog post at greatescapefarms.com. Thank you very much for spending this time with us.